Dr. Eric here to talk to you about erectile dysfunction. I'm going to explain what erectile dysfunction is, the most common causes, and the common treatments. Erectile dysfunction, sometimes called ED, is an extremely common disorder of sexual function that affects up to 30 million men in the United States. ED is difficulty getting or maintaining an erection that is hard enough for sex. Many men will have problems with their erections from time to time, but if the problem is consistent or worsening, then you should seek help. Let's first talk about how erections happen. When aroused, a set of nerves called the parasympathetic nerves cause the spongy tissues in the erectile bodies of the penis to relax. This allows an increase in blood flow. This increased inflow pinches the veins in the penis and slows the outflow of blood from the penis. Inflow that is faster than outflow is what maintains the erection. When the individual reaches orgasm, a different set of nerves, called the sympathetic nerves, cause the muscles of the pelvic floor to contract rhythmically and expel semen. These same nerves cause the spongy tissue in the penis to contract and for the erection to then go down. There are several different ways that the system can break down and result in erectile dysfunction. First, if there isn't enough blood flow going into the penis, this is called arterial insufficiency. Usually, this occurs from narrowing of the arteries to the penis. Hardened arteries, high blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, and heart disease can all cause decreased inflow. Leaky outflow is another issue. This is called venous leak. Outflow problems can happen in men of any age. Nerve damage from spinal and pelvic surgery, from diabetes, or other neurologic disorders can prevent the signals from the parasympathetic nerves from reaching the penis. Diabetes is a significant risk factor for ED because it can affect both the nerves and the arteries. Lastly, many medications that are used to treat other issues such as high blood pressure, can cause ED. If you recently started a new medication and have newly developed ED, do not stop the medication. Sometimes the drug's benefits are too important to risk stopping the medication. Your doctor will be able to advise you whether there may be an acceptable alternative medication that won't have the same side effect. One of the really important causes of erectile dysfunction is mental. Sex is part physical and part emotional. If you're suffering from depression, anxiety, stress, relationship problems, sexual identity issues, or sexual performance anxiety, you may experience problems with your erections. Generally, the diagnosis of ED is based on the patient's description of the problem. There are some tests that may be utilized, but most are not standard studies, and the availability of these tests may be limited. Basic screening tests like blood work to check for diabetes and cholesterol levels can certainly be done. Testosterone levels may also be checked. Sometimes an ultrasound of the penis is done to check for blood flow issues. A device to check for nighttime erections may also be useful. Rarely, pelvic MRI or CT scan is used. Let's talk about treatment. The first treatment, which is often overlooked, is modification of lifestyle. Decreasing stress and anxiety is helpful. Next is improving your overall health. Exercise is important, but so is diet. Animal products like meat and dairy can decrease sexual function through increased fat deposition into the arteries. There is mounting evidence to support a plant-based diet for improved erectile health. If you feel that your mental health is suffering, then visiting a therapist is useful. 
There are therapists who specialize in sex therapy. If your depression or anxiety is especially high, a psychiatrist can also help. Oral medications are the mainstay treatment option for ED. Drugs known as PDE5 inhibitors increase blood flow in the penis. They help around 70% of patients. These medications include Viagra, Cialis, Levitra, Staxin, and Stendra. Viagra and Cialis have generic versions available at the time of this recording. Each medication is a little different in how long it takes to start working and how long it stays in your system. The key with the drugs is that they all require you to have sexual stimulation to work. If you just sit around, nothing's going to happen. The most common side effects of these medications are headaches, nasal congestion, muscle aches, and facial flushing. Rarely, Viagra can cause blue-green vision that lasts for a short time. Never take these medications if you are also taking nitrates for chest pain. For men who are found to have a low testosterone level and a low sex drive, testosterone replacement therapy can sometimes help to improve erections. Most commonly though, the testosterone only helps with improving libido or sex drive. Medications like Viagra though, will usually help with the erection side of things. The next option is a penile occlusion device. Commonly, these are called cock rings. These are bands that are placed at the base of the penis to help hold the blood in. These should be used for up to 30 minutes at a time. Always use an elastic ring and never use a ring made of metal or hard plastic. Rarely, these get stuck 